Yo, what's going on guys? Dungeon is here and I have a video and I'm going to show you how I actually do Glint's challenge. So to get started, I'm going to actually show you that I've actually done it quite a few times. Here's my scores. Necros are better. Here's some of the loot that I have, which I've done it many times, by the way. So I was able to pretty much get like a stack of destroyer cores. I already had like 30 before I started doing it. I already sold like three cloths of the Brotherhood. And now I'm going to go ahead and show you the builds that I used. So here's the Mesmer. And um, I'm pretty sure the Mesmers are exactly the same as PVX Wika. Um, what's, like, my builds are slightly different, but it's mostly the same. So you get the e surge and all of these skills right here. And I'll like have more information in the description. And um, also like the runes and everything aren't really that expensive, considering that, I mean, I kind of went cheap with it, but I was using the build on PVX Wika and it didn't seem to really work quite as well. So I took out the SOS Ritualist and added in a Minion Master. I changed up this build a bit, made it more curses. The Minion Master is actually pretty good. I feel like it might be, you might be able to make it better without it, but I'm not really sure. And uh, you absolutely need to have the ST Ritualist. And uh, I would actually really recommend making sure that you actually get the runes for it. Which I don't have my heroes heavily runed up. So just communing plus three, plus one, and then spawning power plus two. And I have nothing else on there, just some random shield. Most of the shields I use are just the slash bonus shield. The menu master, death magic, plus three, plus one. You know, I got one uh, menu master insignia and the survivor health plus 15. So my heroes aren't really heavily ruined up. Though Lasis, since he has the Hexbreaker skill, he has the, I just gave him a spear with plus 5 energy, plus, five, plus 30 health, and double adrenaline gain. I don't think it's really that big of a deal. The main thing's probably the plus 5 energy. And, uh, you know, just gave him a Delgarmore shield that I had laying around. And uh, otherwise, he actually has Death Magic plus 1 plus 1 because I was running the build as on PBX Wika. Now I took the Death Magic out. And just have the armor plus 10 on him. And the armor plus 10 from the holy damage, that's not really that expensive. The Tormentor Insignia, it's not really that uh, it's not really that expensive. The Master Whispers, Death Magic plus one plus one. Which uh Yeah, I mean I, I have one death magic skill on him. Whatever. And I have like the plus ten. Holy damage, well, like, holy damage has increased the Tormentor Insignia on Helm, plus health plus 30. And then we go to Gwen, Domination Magic, plus 1, plus 1. I just had some random uh, armor plus 3 for the Signets. And then, yeah, nothing else except for Inspiration Magic, plus 1. Illusion Magic, plus 1, plus 1. Inspiration Magic, plus 1. Dom Magic plus one plus one, the Signet, um, Signa again, which that's just something I had laying around. I didn't really buy it. Inspiration plus one, Armor plus 15, while activating skills. And uh, that's the main Insignia that you want, but it's pretty expensive. And uh, as for me, it doesn't really matter what I have because I'm just going to be AFK. And go through here again. So Master Whispers, the 12 death magic, 10 soul reaping, 11 restoration. And yeah, I'm going to go ahead and get into it and show you how the heroes will let you actually see the heroes in action. I have the maxed out Deldermore title, uh, which is only like rank 5. I haven't tried it without it, so I can't really say if it's that effective or not. Which I'm sure it's pretty, pretty nice to have. And here it is. This is the setup. You put the two E-surges on the ends, and you put the Ineptitude Mesmer in the middle. I'm not sure if this really matters or not, because um, it's something that they don't really say on the PVX Wika. Um, you know, but I used to put the Ineptitude Mesmer where Norgu is, and it didn't really seem to work out 
that well, which is why I do it this way because it seems to actually work out better. And, um, and also in regards to these builds, if there's ever, like if there's ever any builds or like, like if there's just some reason why you can't use some of these builds for whatever reason, like maybe, well, like uh, I think the main thing you need is the three Mesmers and uh, at least one Ritualist and like two or three Necromancers seems to be what's optimal. I've tried using the SOS Ritualist, but just doesn't really seem to be that great for me for some odd reason. This set seems to work better. Um, maybe I just don't have it ruined up or something like that. Um, I feel like if you take out the Minion Master or Oasis, you could potentially make it better. Um, I did try with five Mesmers, but I just got party wiped. I think that the heroes need a little bit more support in order to actually function pretty well. And then Oasis gives like support, basically. And the you know, the weakness and cracked armor. But for the most part, um, you know, I think these are, like, I think you can actually take out Oasis because I've tried this with a third E-Surge and it worked out. And I've also tried it with a second Epitude and it worked out. And I didn't even have those heroes roomed up at all. And um, I kind of went back to Oasis because it seems to work slightly better. It might be because I actually have runes on him and I didn't have runes on the other Mesmers. Um, I also experimented with taking out the ST Ritualist, and that just never worked at all. The ST Ritualist is, like, the main thing. Like, you have to have that. Like, the ST Ritualist, at least one or two Necromancers, and the three Mesmers is what you pretty much need. But yeah, otherwise, I'm going to just let this play out, and I'll double the speed, and, well, I'll probably do more than double the speed, because this takes about like 18 to 20 minutes to actually do. And I'll come back with some more commentary. <laughs> pretty obvious that I've already won and as you can tell I didn't do anything at all I just was AFK the entire time didn't help out my heroes or anything and this is usually the time when I actually get back into the game it's like right at the end of the, like the last bosses so this run was actually like 22 minutes um, like sometimes it's like 18 it's usually, I guess, about 18 to 22 minutes. It's usually like around 20 minutes, though. So this one took two minutes longer for whatever reason. It's probably the minions that slow it down a little bit, which is why I think that you might be able to do a faster run without the minions. But I think 20 minutes is 
still yet a good amount of time eat also. And let's see what we got here. Two destroyer cores and a lock pick. That seems to be all the destroyer cores. So I usually get about three destroyer cores per run. Uh, usually like a little bit more. I usually don't even bother picking up the the white weapons. I usually get like close to 2,000 or like a little bit over 2,000 score. Um, you know, I was using slightly different builds and they actually did get me 2,000 more consistently, but I actually don't remember what I was running. Um, I think I was running something different on Oasis and Libya. It might have been closer to like what's on the PBX. I don't really remember. And uh, like, I also recommend coming in when the bosses are there because and that way you can actually get the chest of the brotherhood because like whenever you spawn here it's like the little timer starts ticking down before you even open up the chest so that's something you have to kind of watch out for if you're afk too long you could potentially lose and i'd also like to make another note like sometimes heroes actually do die which isn't that big of a deal but you know sometimes like occasionally they will actually wipe um, like, and I think it usually happens like when the elementals start popping up and they start hitting them with the AOE damage. Like, I think occasionally they'll actually like wipe the group because sometimes I'll come back like right at 18 minutes and there's no way that it's done before 18 minutes. And, you know, I'll just be back at the CTC and, you know, it's like, it's pretty obvious that it actually failed, but that's pretty rare because I've actually done it quite a few times and it doesn't really happen that often and you still end up getting like two to four destroyer cores in the process so yeah guys like that's the build that's what i use and i'm not saying it's better than what pbx weka has but at least with this right here you only need one ritual list so you can just use exandra instead of actually having to use like a mercenary hero or something like that but the three mesmers is like necessary. I don't even know if you can do it without the three mesmers. So that's just something to keep in mind. Otherwise, if you like the video, give me a like. Dungeon is signing out.